Oh, sorry about that. Uh, well, I don't even know. I said sorry about that. I didn't even say anything. Right then. This is part... 10? 10. Yeah, pretty sure. Pretty sure it's 10. Uh, as you can see, I shall be playing in my KV3 today. Which has got a new gun on it, finally, if I haven't showed you it. I've got 100% crew now as well, which is good, good. I'm heading towards that thing. If you know, it's going to take me forever. Uh, someone did say in the comments for me to go for it. I was going for it initially. I thank you for the tip anyway. Um, yeah, I'm in the Churchill one as well. I think I showed you it last time. I've upgraded a bit more as well. It's fully upgraded, actually. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just heading for the Churchill 7. And the uh, other tank, the Jag Panzer 4, which is in battle at the moment. There's only one gun left to research, which is the thing is the one which, when I bought it, I showed you I needed. So the stats and that are quite good compared to the gun that I've got at the moment. Well, the, technically the penetration is worse. The accuracies were. Oh, I think I don't know whether that's better. Just have to wait and see. Uh, yeah. So, let's have a look. Garage. Right then. So I shall be going in my huge tank. Here we go. And there's a special event going on at 5.30 today, so I will probably record me doing some battles then. Uh, I may merge them together, so you might get like an hour long video. Be the longest one I've done. And matchmaking's been alright for me today, actually. And I've been I've been putting battles like this, where I'm sitting at the top, nice and snugly with a few other enemies which can damage me and kill me. But with uh, me virtually taking out most of their tanks in two shots, with this gun on, I don't put auto resupply on. Any reason why I've only got 25 shells? Uh, it should have like 30, 30, 35, 36. I'm not sure how many it should actually have. But, uh, but yeah, it costs me a lot to run this gun. It's a, it's a grander shell. So yeah, I just don't auto resupply. I auto, I I resupply it when I have to. Like when I'm on like 10 shots or something. Or I do a good in a battle and I reward myself with a, a few shells. But yeah, this tank isn't fast because this gun weighs a ton. Not literally, but I don't know how much it weighs. I think it's like 5,000 kilograms or something like that. But anyways, uh, yeah, see there, that's one of the new premium tanks as well, which came in through the British update. I don't think I've seen one yet. I think that's the first one I've seen. You've got a few other tanks. You've got the Panzer M10, the Panzer Schmelt or something like that. And then you've got like the... Uh, um, one other tier, one other tank which I can't remember. Um, 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 that's a nine. Anyways, right, yeah. So, yeah, the British tanks are quite good. I think I've done a video on them. I'm pretty sure I would have. If I haven't, I'm sorry. Pretty sure I have. Short-term memories kicking in here. Don't actually have short-term memory, but it feels like I do. Um. So yeah, I'm heading for a little hidey spot which I usually use when I'm when I'm around. Usually, there's usually always a tank around here and stuff. So you just sort of poke your nose out. You can use this spot actually quite often. It always works. See, if that was a better shot, I probably would have taken him out, uh, taken more health off. But yeah, that's two shots for me to kill him. I'm really gonna go hunt him down actually. It would be best for me to kill him so I can get some money back for the shells that I used. Oh, not good. I really want him to come out because although he is a tier 5, the, the KV1 damaged. is quite a strong tank. Track hit. Yeah, I didn't expect that to happen. Same at the Churchill then. If I can't damage anything else. Yeah, they're all hiding because they know my gun's beastly. Let's go take out this tank. Oh my days. It's three shells I've spent on him. Three. And the reload time's really bad on this. Should have been done a long time ago. Come on. Come on, tank. Reload, thank you. Oh, lucky. Lucky shot. I'm gonna see if I can clip him here. No, I can't. Such a lucky tank. 
really don't want anything to track my kill here. There you go, took a bit of damage doing that, but hey ho, what do I expect? I'm hunting down tanks. The problem is they're all focusing this way. Which means I've got to get to my hidey spot without them aiming at me. Which isn't a very low chance. See that there he is. Yeah, let's see. Oh, they're aiming at those tanks there. I better move it then. I don't want to get shot doing this. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, that is me finished, most likely. My reload time is it's quite bad. Unless I manage to get one more shot off, I might be able to take that tank. No. Yeah. It's just unlucky, really. Just managed to get shot in the tracks. Oh, I was going to get shot in the tracks no matter what. But, yeah. So, oh, my Jagpans are one, which is more experience towards my next gun. Let's jump in this tank then. Uh, uh, yeah, the special on this is a, uh, where a, um, it's like a, a it's like a, it's, it's, it's like a, oh my god, uh, a producer or like a, uh, a wargaming admin or a, a wargaming administrator is like in the game and they have a, a, and you get points for killing them. You get 500 gold for that kill. But you can, I think you only get, it once a day. I think it's funny for like four, four or five days. So yeah, it's an opportunity to get quite a lot of credits. And assuming the amount of battles you do a day, you average about ten. You have ten chances. I know you probably do more than ten. But I'm just saying, depending if they all last, if they all last fifteen minutes. It's a substantial amount of time. It's like two hours, three hours of gameplay, depending on how much you actually play this game. I play it quite a lot, so I get about. Uh, 40 to 50 games in a day, depending how much I feel like playing. If I if I do a lot of recording, because if I do recording, I usually have to cut my gameplay short due to the fact that I have to render and then upload. While doing that, I can't do anything else because rendering just sucks up the processing power. So yeah, uh, yeah, just yeah. Again, I I only met one person who who's got this game. Which is a bit of a disappointment. I thought more of you would have had it. I was hoping that more of you had it actually, so I could play with you guys. But it doesn't matter. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna go kill all these tanks. Kill all of them. It's uh, a bit cocky. I'm gonna go kill some. Hopefully, kill some actually. It's a better way of me putting it. Um. Just hope I don't get hit by their art oh, they don't have any artillery. That's good. That's very good. That means I don't have to worry about them. Now, lo our low tractor got a kill. Did it kill? Right, then, there's almost guaranteed you're going to be people's either sitting back there, where my turret's aiming at the moment, or people sitting in the flag, which is quite an obvious one because we know they're capping. So, let's just take that dude. Yeah, he knows I'm aiming at him, so he's running away. See, that is not good. That KV-1 will put a hole in me. And it just did. Yep, see, so took out all of those people with a single shot. Probably hit my turret or something. I can't hit him. Yeah, as a unlucky shot, I think he's got a premium shell on. Because there's I've never seen anybody do that much damage to me. With a single shell from a KV-1. Ever. So, yeah. Oh, my days, mate. Why'd you get my way? He has him sorted. That KV one's probably going to kill me if it sees me. So I'm just sort of going to have to sit here back. Sit here back. Sit back here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, there's something down there. There's a tank destroyer down there. Or a KV-1 or something. That's a T1 heavy. So I better go this way. So I can't get shot. We're losing quite a lot of tanks now. So can I hit him? Yes, I can. See, I've got aiming, but the thing is, my gun is dead, which is a right irritation. So look at that reload. It's quite slow as it is. It's just even slower now. I mean, I don't think I can hit either of those dudes. I know I can damage that. See, the thing is, the turret depression on this is awful. It's really annoying. Because you can't really damage 
the tanks, which are like sitting, sitting around and stuff. Just sort of aim, move back and find a spot where you can, or something like that. So I'm moving back towards there's like a mound which I saw back here, which I'm sort of gonna plonk myself on. You can actually hit him if you get lucky if the bullet dips down. I've seen, I have done it. It's a hard shot to do though. Uh, see, look at that reload time. That T46 will probably kill me. Let's no, see, I missed him. Couldn't really afford to miss that shot, but oh well. Yeah, see, they're ripping our tanks apart now. Thing is, he's aiming at me now as well. So I'm gonna move. Um. So yeah, let's see if I can get another shot for him. Because I will go for his turret. I do know that. So the pen on this gun's quite good. No, if it's the pen on this gun's excellent. Uh, things I can just hit in there as well. No, oh, miss. I can't really get shot. I've lost my load on my eight. My don't know what that one is actually. I always get confused with the accuracy ones. They always seem to sort of confuse me a tad. I don't know why. Because there we go. Can hit him. He's a tier 3 tank destroyer, isn't he? I think he'll struggle to damage me. Oh, hopefully he'll struggle anyway. There we go, he's gone. Uh, there's a KV-1, T-34 and A-20 left. They managed to do quite a lot of damage whilst the A-20 is AFK by the looks of it. I don't think I could take on this KV-1. But yeah, maybe if he gets a single shot from any of those tanks there, maybe. Take him down to like 200 or something. But I won't get to him in time is the problem. Oh, they're both there, which is bad. I can do my max damage is 125. So I have to be careful with who I'm aiming at and what's aiming at me. I don't know whether I'm getting aimed at by that KV-1 or not. So I'm just going to take my chances and go for it. That's that. The thing is, if I had my loader still, I'd probably have to kill him now. Kind of want someone to take another shot on him. Oh no. How did that bounce? Oh, he's got a faster reload time than I do. Ooh, there we go, got him. Yeah, so, this tank is actually quite a good tank. It's quite sturdy. Good gun, if you, if you know what you're doing with it. It's not exactly the best damage, so yeah, you don't usually have to shoot your enemies quite a lot, which is a bit of a disappointment. So actually, just jump in this. So yeah, so it's all about just taking into consideration about where they are, what your where you are, and stuff like that. If they're aiming at you, uh, so. It's not a bad match here. I'm higher up. And doesn't mean I can do a lot though, because they they have tier seven tank destroyers, which is a, a, an annoying thing because they'll rip through all of our tanks in a few shells, two shells, maybe the top ones, maybe about three or four. Um. Uh, so yeah, hopefully it'll be all right. Oh, sorry, hiccup. Um, I don't know whether I should buy a camo for this. Not a permanent one, of course. Like a a seven-day one would be about 150 grand. I do have 1.2 mil, but I don't really want to spend much. Don't know why. I seem to like having three mil more than they do but yeah here's a here's an all right camping spot because you're fairly away from fairly away from the enemy uh irish house in there don't know why and i've got a camo net on and i've got a sniper gun on so yeah and i can hit quite a lot of it 
you know, I could try and maximize how much I could hit. Um, see, yeah, uh, see, one shot only took nearly 300 health off that. He's gonna plonk himself right there. Thing is, I yeah, there's always someone sitting there. There's someone sitting there last battle actually, because this is the map I played last time. Shot in there. Um, let's see. Let's get aim at that tank. Fire. Oh, missed. Uh, quite a good reload time on this actually, which is really useful. It's really useful. Um, yeah, that's how I got him. It's good anyway. I don't know. Uh, our, our tiger, I don't know where he's at. He's down there, so he's alright. He's got us covered down here. See, there's the tier 52 he's doing a scout run. So I'll probably be spotted now. But I can actually hit them. If they decide to keep running this way, I can actually get a shot off on them. See, that dude's been tracked. There's a shot on him. There's another shot off on him. He's unlucky. Unlucky there as well. Oh man, he's gonna go up my range again. Oh no. And then I better take cover. The thing is, if he gets up there, he's just gonna get ripped in half by like the VK and stuff. So yeah, he's gonna just sort of sit there and poke his nose out every so often. Hope for the best. And if I were him, I'd run along down there and run round. But of course, he's a scout tank, so he's just gonna sort of sit there, spot, come back out, spot. I'm gonna shoot that tank there. And there is one there. Uh. So yeah, it's not going too bad. We've lost our ARL, which isn't good. It's one of our best tank destroyers, because apparently the French have excellent tank destroyers. If you want me to do French tank destroyers, tell me, and I'll, I'll, I'll give it a think. Because I will have to go through all the boring tiers. E.g. I'll have to go through tier, like, 1 through, like, 6 and stuff. 1 through 5, which is apparently quite boring, because they're kind of kind of weak yeah so yeah tomorrow Halo 4 is appearing so there won't be any videos for a while Jesus. um kinda in a bit of a pickle here well, it won't be a while, it'll be about 2-3 days cause I'll be playing it uh, let's see if I can hit him oh, I would've hit him as well uh, if I get it tomorrow, we'll be playing it like Tuesday through to Thursday. Maybe Friday, depending on how I feel when I get back from college. If I feel like doing recordings, or if I feel like playing uh, artillery. But anyways, so yeah, that, that game looks quite good. I'll be playing that most likely. Um, so yeah, I want another battle in this. I'm going to record this one. I really want my next gun on it. I'm bored of this. This gun, it's a good gun, it's just awful reload time. I'd rather have a, a similar one if it was a bit better. Because the reload time is about um, 5 seconds. It's, ten, uh, it's, about, it's about 10 seconds at the moment. So, yeah. I can damage everything apart from the Ferdinand and the Jack Tiger 8.8. .8. I know the Jag Tag is 8.8 .8 weeks weak bot, which is just under the front armour, so if you've got the Jag Tag like in front of you it'd be like there. Um But the Ferdinand I have no idea where its weak point is. Which I guess is kind of annoying. We'd like to know. Not if somebody could tell me the Ferdinand's weak point. 
be very grateful. So yeah, I I am um, yeah, probably gonna camp this one out most likely. Now I'm just sit in this this hedge here. Actually, my camo net, and then just sort of let the battle pan out. I like to sort of stick out the edge of the gun out. Bush it makes the tank look so much better. Cause that like what you'd see in like a film, but you see like the edge of the gun pointing out. But you won't see anything else. Seeing as I've probably been spotted out. Ah, oh, no, I could not afford to miss that. Well, I could afford to miss it, but it won't bother me. Majorly. Like, it will mean I lose some credits. They're all attacking. Well, that Type 59 just got ammo racked. Which is annoying. It's one of our higher tiers he is. You know, I wish I knew where all the ammo racks were so I could just sort of aim at them and just shoot. I think they're usually at the back of the turret, which I'm not quite sure. Um. So, yeah. Uh. Oh. There he goes. He's the AFK. I'm going to report him. Because I don't. I hate people who go AFK. Or their uh, XP grinded. You can actually do that by going AFK. Because you win, I think it's like a win rate of like thirty percent or something when you when you're not actually playing. So yeah, the thing is that's the point. The penetration on the gun, which costs this much, and it's got. M Mega damage, but it's just not worth it. I'm using it just because it it does the best damage against what I fight. The thing is, if it's as grand a shell, and I'm not doing at least 400 damage a shell. The thing is, see, I'm getting shot now, and that KV fires in the turn and have a pot shot at me. And the reload time is is just ridiculous. See, there we go. Uh, the turret on this. Is the best turret I know. It's 120 front turret armor, and I'm sorry, but it's the Rage Man, and I get damage from a shot to the turret with a gun which is this costly. It, it should do so much more. Its penetration is under like 150, so it struggles to get through armor. I can't go through American tanks which I fight against this turret, so like 130 each, 150 each side so I can't get through that tiger armor front armor tiger can get through tiger 2 can't struggle had to go for the side uh, most tanks is just the side shot and for a gun which is just this costly it's just not it's not practical it's really not practical I don't know why everybody's trying to shoot his turret. He's just doing what he should do when you play an American tank. Sit there and poke your turret over and play it smart. T twenty eight. It's a huge tank destroyer. I think the second I turn my side, I'm going to get shot by that T twenty T thirty four. So he told you. Try to shoot me. Well, I would have tried to shoot me myself, but. So you can probably still hit me now. I can see he's just doing that, and you just can't damage him for his front armor and his hull. There's no point me even trying. He yeah, has that huge tank. See, there you go. One shot. One shot from that tank, from that artillery, did that much damage to me. There you go, I'm gone. 
Right then, let's have a look at the stats of this gun then. I'm pretty sure it's pretty bad. I don't know what the gun is on this, other. I don't know. It's the, the... What is the gun that you get on this? See, you get the same gun on that. Which is just pointless. 175 pen. It just doesn't go through anything. Doesn't go through anything. And the next gun, which is 19,000 experience, is... Yes, it's got a bit of a faster fire rate. Yes, that is handy. Yes, it's got a bit more accuracy. No, it hasn't. It's got the same accuracy. It's like the same aiming time. It weighs less. Which is good. But it's 0 0.80 of a round faster. I mean, I doubt... Yeah, see? That, that is the gun you want. You don't want this pathetic little pea shoes which when you shoot against your own tier don't go through anything you expect them to actually do stuff I mean that this Russian tier 10 is, is ridiculous you you can't even you get shot by that its own gun on its hull go straight through it and do 440 damage got to have like 4,000 health Oh, yeah, okay, I'm I'm starting to get angry. But yeah, so this may get merged into two. It may get merged. We may not even do a recording of the uh, 530 thing. Uh, Hunt Us Down, I think it's called, actually. So yeah. Please like and subscribe. This was Ditto's or Chase with Sherald, whichever one you prefer, I don't mind. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.